So my name is Olivia DeMonso and I am the set and costume designer for A Chorus of Disapproval. A green Book is about sustainability in theatre. Um, so buildings themselves will also be adopting Green Book practices, um, but also the productions, um, any way that we can think about sustainability. And it's about thinking about ways of how you can use things that already exist, so whether theatre has stock of props, costumes, or scenery, or things that the um, particular venue themselves can do so that you can utilise. And anything that does get produced, if it's something that can have a future life. So if it could go into storage, or it could be used on future plays, or be gifted or sold to other venues. The play itself has themes of theatre inherently within it. So from my thinking, instead of building from scratch, it's quite nice thinking what exists in the theatre. So for example, looking at um, using scenery, uh, but turning it the other way around, like what does the back of the scenery look like? And doing your thinking that way has then played a part in how we've approached the design and the sort of direction for the play. Because um, then we're sort of getting quite playful of, well, what can we use? So for example, Gareth had this gorgeous idea of shelving units um, that you might find in a prop store. So we're like, well, what if we put them on wheels and they've got things on it? And then we can put them into position and they can become walls of, a, of one of the settings. And we can pluck things out of it to then build the setting further or you know, drop down curtains or things like that. So we start kind of having really playful thoughts and instead of building everything from scratch, it's like, well, what, what duality do things have? What theater tropes can be used in a surprising and fun way? And it's a comedy, so we, we can just have so much fun with it. Working out what is the lesser evil. So, say you haven't did a shout out to theatres of we wanted a particular, I don't know, um, let's say a particular set of chairs, and somewhere up in Derby have these chairs. So easy to go get these secondhand chairs, but all the petrol to send a van up there and bring the chairs back. Or there's somewhere in town that has chairs, but we're buying something new. So we. I guess that's a kind of challenge of working out what's the equation there as the most sustainable. Is it to buy the new ones but they're local and there's not so much travel involved or is it to go further away but taking into account the kind of carbon footprint of that journey? Maybe the approach to design has been different. You might go, oh, I'll do, I'll do that. Uh, idea, but that idea involves a design and a build. It's just the mindset of utilising things that already exist. It, say, for example, I, uh, things like vac forms, you can get some really nice effect, but part of the green book is to kind of avoid plastics. So therefore, uh, kind of way that I might have solved something using the vac forms, I'm now like, okay, well, what, what's another way that I can approach that? So therefore, I'm thinking like a little bit uh, deeper into other solutions, and that's uh, in some ways creating more interesting results. Opera. <laughs> a lot of fun with 1980s fashion. I'm, I'm really hoping I can get a mullet in there somewhere. Um, some like lovely hairstyles. Just an enjoyment and love of theatre and the kind of staging and a kind of playfulness with that. Probably also some fantastic kind of Laura Ashley soft furnishings. <laughs>